Hey guys, it's Bastion time. Welcome to Nintendo News, I'm your host Bastion, let's get to that first story. Pokemon Rumble U was announced uh, fairly recently. It is a game for the Wii U that involves um, figures that you buy, Pokemon figures, and it uses the Wii U gamepad's uh, NFC abilities to sort of read from those figures. It's basically uses the same kind of technology that Skylanders invented practically, and uh, now Disney Infinity uh, is sort of jumping on the bandwagon of. So, of course, Pokemon is going to try something along those lines. It looks like it could be pretty interesting. Another interesting thing was announced, which is Flipnote Studio 3D, uh, which will allow you to create um, uh, sort of animation on your 3DS in 3D. Pretty awesome idea. I'm not a very good artist at all, I've got to say, so I didn't even jump on board with Flipnote for the DS, but, uh, but I'm sure there are going to be so many awesome pieces of animation created by the fans out there that I won't feel bad that I, I can't do that. A recent uh, piece of interesting information recently came out about uh, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, and the fact that the developers, uh, for their research, sort of looked at one of my favorite characters from an old TV show and a kind of recent movie, Mr. Bean. Now, for those not familiar with Mr. Bean, you gotta fix that. You gotta watch uh, some episodes uh, of Mr. Bean, or um, I forget what the movie was called. It was like, uh, there were two movies. The first one was terrible. The second one was really good. Uh, it was like Mr. Bean's Holiday or something like that. But um, anyways, he's a very eccentric character. And so they were looking at him because they felt like uh, Luigi and Mr. Bean share some similarities. Basically, they're both sort of accidental heroes. They're not out looking to be heroes, and they're very timid. Um, well, Mr. Bean's not so timid, actually, but uh, they're just very quirky characters. And so, um, so they sort of studied the way Mr. Bean moves and walks and, and sort of his situations that he gets into and uh, have sort of use that as inspiration, so that's pretty exciting. And then our final bit of uh, Nintendo news comes from Digino Gaming, and that is that the original star of the game, the original main character, was not supposed to be Sora. It was originally going to be Donald Duck, um, which is kind of interesting. That's at least what Disney wanted. And then over on the Square Enix side of things, they wanted Mickey Mouse. Um, but basically the director for the game decided that he didn't want to go in either direction, so he created Sora to sort of look dressed up a bit like Mickey Mouse, but it could have been Donald Duck if uh, Disney had their way, so that's kind of odd. So that's it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you guys uh, tomorrow for I actually have no idea what as I'm recording this, so I'll be just as surprised as you will. Bye.